Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what is up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is Ramesh Zaman and I am back with another good question from LC oscillations. So in the LC circuit, the capacitor C1 is charged to a potential of 1 volt. So here we have a capacitor C1 which is charged at a potential of 1 volts, right? The capacitor C2 and the inductor were initially uncharged. Now the switch S1 is closed at t equals to 0. So first we are turning on S1. Okay. So what happens? This uh, charged capacitor will transfer its energy to this inductor and after a time 1.5 pi by 100 seconds, switch S2 is closed and S1 is opened. S2 is closed, S1 is opened. Okay. Now this guy have gained some energy. Now it will transfer to this capacitor. Now these times, these time stamps will uh, tell you <laughs> will the question be uh, shorter or lengthier because this initial data plays an important role in the question. Now what happens switch S2 is closed and S1 is opened after 0.5 pi by 100 second of the second incident means after switching on S2 we switched on S2 and after this amount of time S2 is also opened. We need to find out the final potential difference across the capacitor C2 in volts. Okay. Now when you are switching on S1 initially, this is the LC circuit that we are creating. First find out the time period of this LC circuit, it is 2 pi root over LC1, it is this one. Now at t equals to 1.5 pi by 100 seconds, which is equal to the one fourth of the time period of the oscillation. So in one fourth of the time period, what happens? The capacitor gives all of its energy supplies all of its energy to this inductor in the form of magnetic field okay so the inductor gains all of all the energy that was initially stored inside the capacitor at 1.5 pi divided by 100 second switch s2 is closed and s1 is opened now we are getting this as our working circuit lc circuit okay this one so for this circuit the time period is 2 pi root over L2C and we will get this one, right? So this is the time period. And if you watch the question carefully, after 0.5 pi by 100 second, I mean after turning on switch S2 and later 0.5 pi by 100 seconds later, switch S2 is also opened, right? So 0.5 pi by 100 second means one fourth of the time period of this second LC circuit, right? So after 0.5 pi by 100 second, the whole energy, of course, the same thing will happen. The whole magnetic energy will get transferred to this capacitor. Easy. So now we can easily find out the potential difference across the capacitor C2. That means we can say that the whole energy that was present in the capacitor C1 is transferred to capacitor C2. So we can just write half C1 V1 square equals to half C2 V2 square if you just follow this circuit. Okay. Now calculating just put the values of C1 and C2 and initial V1 was uh, I think 1 volts, right? Just put the value. So final potential difference of C2 is 3 volts. So this kind of questions J.E. have asked earlier. So I think this was a helpful video for all of you and wish you all the best for your exams and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Take care. As you have come to the end of the video, you get a cookie. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Take care.